This is a video on how to build a closed pin gun. It's pretty powerful and easy to make. For this build, you will need a closed pin, the wooden kind with the metal spring, a rubber band, a uh, thin is pretty good, and a sharp knife. I have a pocket knife here. Let's get started. Take your clothes pin. You're going to want to disassemble it by pushing apart the two sides. We'll have a wooden piece, another wooden piece, and a spring. So what I've done here is I took one of the clothes pin pieces and I cut it into two pieces and I'll show you that. So I have I took my knife here and just like it would be just like that, a regular clothes pin, I went right down the middle and broke it in two. So it's a bit rough, but that's okay. As long as you have your clothespin and you want to break it off, so you have this flat plane piece and this other piece which we'll be using. So the next notch I made was in this piece, and I'll show you nice and close here. Uh, on a normal clothespin piece, it's round like that, but this one I made it come right to a drop. This is the notch we'll be using to put the spring in place. So I just took my knife here. And made a notch. Just like that. So you can do that. Um, try to make it fairly deep so the spring will stay in place. We won't be needing a knife anymore, so you can remove that. But we will need our elastic band. So now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this full piece with the notch in it and this half piece with these holes in it. And you're going to want to put them just like they would be if they were full like that. Now you're going to want to take your elastic band. You're going to want to put it in the two holes like that and you're going to want to make it fairly tight. I usually wrap it three times. Just so it's easy to push forward, but not too loose that it won't stay on. Next, we'll place in the spring. The spring goes on just like this. One is going to be on top of the wood, and one will be on the bottom. So we'll push that in, and you'll see that the bottom piece will go right into that notch we made, and it should stay in there. Now, we're basically ready to fire it. So the way we shoot this is first you need to caulk it. And so how to caulk it is you're going to have a spring here and this little hole. And you're going to want to push this until it clicks into the spring. And you push it back with your thumb until it's in place. And then we're ready to put some ammo in it. So I use this little piece over here as ammo. You simply lift it up, push it in all the way back to the spring. And then when you're ready, put your finger on the trigger and fire. So it's a pretty powerful gun as you can see. Uh, very simple to make and if you want to know some other tips on how to modify this I have some other videos. Um, this gun right here has a straw barrel as you can see so when I go to cock this I can use something like a toothpick here and then I just put it in same way, lift it up, and this will actually puncture something if you have it sharp enough. Uh, I've had it to go through an apple, I've had it to go through a potato, it's definitely powerful enough for all those. And you can try playing around with it, try different sizes of elastics. Um, so I guess that's all. Thanks for watching.